Hi, my name's Keith Cooper for Northlight Images. Uh, this is a, a short video about what I regard as an integral tool for anyone doing fine art printing. Certainly if you use matte media, inkjet printing, uh, what is it? Well, it's a simple UV pen torch, a larger version here. Uh, you can get them online, you can get them for $5 even, you can get them really cheap. But just going to show why I use one, why it's an important thing that I keep here with my printing. Now, I've just been doing some printing on the Epson P5000s. Now that's been moved around when we moved house recently. It's settled a lot. I always leave big printers to settle for a while if you move them. And I hadn't used the matte ink on it. This is an older printer where you have to swap over inks. And I hadn't used the matte ink on it, black ink on it for a while. So I switched it to matte black. And of course I did a nozzle check on it because sometimes that causes that you might need to do a bit of a clean after that. But anyway, this is, because I keep in the uh, printer there, I keep A3 paper, plain paper, copier paper. Now, unless you think this is wasteful, I do turn it over and reuse it for things, but this is the nozzle check for the P5000. Lots of inks, because it has things like an orange ink, a green ink, one of the reasons I really like it and use it still. Anyway, the thing is, and you've probably seen this, when you print these nozzle checks, if you print them on plain paper, sometimes it's very difficult to see whether the nozzle check, whether there's any problems with it. And I, I managed to get a couple of photos here, uh, albeit only of a camera phone. Uh, the first photo gives a feeling for what you sometimes see when you do a nozzle check on plain paper, something like this. Yes, I can see there are some problems with the light, light black. Um, one or two bits of the head, it just needs a clean. Uh, the printer hasn't been heavily used for a couple of months now. Regularly used, but not heavily used. So, yeah, I can see that. But the yellow ink... Um, it's almost impossible to see nozzle checks on the, on the yellow ink. And that is where the UV pen comes in. Now, there are two types here, these little torches. Um, notice I'm not talking about little LED torches. So this one, a blue, distinctly bluey light from it. No, that's not good. There's no UV in that. Also, there are two types of these you can get. Ignore the fact this is you know three times the size of this one. This is a 395 nanometer UV torch. So that's almost dark blue with a little bit of UV. This is a 365 nanometer uh, one. So when you're looking for them, look for the number 365. Um, do not look directly at these, particularly this one. These can be very bright. They're not lasers, but I'll do the, see how this shows up on the video. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's dazzlingly bright. Um, there is a lot of op optical brightening. You can probably see my, my shadow from it there. There is a lot of optical brightener in this paper. If I try the 395 one, yeah, we still get it there. Incidentally, the other thing for using these for is checking your papers, what they've got optical brighteners in them. I tested a paper a few weeks ago and it's lovely smooth white surface. You put the UV on it and you can actually see there are tiny flecks of fibre in it which fluoresce in slightly different amounts to the other paper. Are you going to notice that? No, but it's worth knowing about your papers. So, simple thing, it shows you optical brighteners. They're useful for all sorts of things. Just don't take one of these ones to a hotel room if you're going to go one and shine it round. Um, it, all sorts of things fluoresce um, on it. But anyway, that one there, what does it look like when I look at this pattern here? And once again, it's very difficult. It, it was difficult to capture this. But in lighting this visually, I can see, and remember cameras will see this lighting very, very differently to how we will see it. I can see all several breaks in the light like K. I can see the yellow ink under this light it's quite dark, and I can see that the yellow nozzle check is absolutely perfect. Um, it also helps for the gloss optimizer coat, checking that on these uh, Canon printers, because that's almost impossible to see. So anyway, quick thing is, get one of these. I think this, this was like a $10 version. It's got bigger rechargeable battery off USB-C. Um, yeah, they work really well. 
integral tool, just the sort of thing I have in my print workshop. Uh, yeah, it just helps. I hope that was of some interest. Um, say, so, yeah, all sorts of fun. Incidentally, if you've got a big bookshelf full of books at night, just point this at it and you'll see fluorescent colours all over the place. Fun to play with as well. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching and bye.